La emisión está comenzando. Todos los asistentes están en modo de solo escucha. Hello, my name is Jeremy Miranda and I'm today's speaker. I'm a channel enabler for Boy MIT since five years ago and I'm in charge or help in the Americas area. Today's topic is the web dashboards. Probably you already know that the dashboard model is included in the latest versions of B1 Usability Package. This is an impressive model that allows you to view, execute, and send dashboards directly with information from SAP Business One. But now we just released a new version that allows you to view these dashboards in a web environment. This is today's agenda. We are gonna talk about the installation of B1 dashboards in the case you are a new customer or in the case you are an already customer and you don't know how to enable this model directly with your latest version installed in your computer. We are also are gonna talk about the dashboard editor and some functionality included in this model. And finally, the installation of the web dashboards. The web dashboard installation in the case of a fresh new B1 Usability Package installation, you can see it or you will find it in the B1 Usability Package configuration wizard. Once you finish the installation of B1 Usability Package, this uh, feature, this window will appear. This is basically a wizard that allows you to select which models of the B1 Usability Package you want to enable. In this case, in the step three of seven, you will find the option to select the B1 dashboard. With this, once you finish this wizard, the installation of the model will start. If you're already a customer and you don't have this model enabled, you just need to go to administration, add-ons, B1 usability package, B1 usability package configuration, and in the first tab, name B1 usability package, you need to mark this checkbox and select B1 dashboard. This button will change to update, click on it, and the installation will start. Just remember that like every other model part of B1 Usability Package, it will create some fields, some user-defined tables. So it's very important to have no users connected during this step. This takes around five minutes, but please remember with no users connected. Now we're gonna talk about the dashboard editor. Once the installation is done, a new folder, a new path will appear under Usability Package Model Configuration Name V1 Dashboards. We have three different options we can select. The first one, the dashboard configuration, is the default values, for example, for the search field and the database connection. The first time the dashboard model is executed, it will be requested to introduce the user and password for your database, SQL or HANA. And also, you have another configuration that you need to do in this dashboard editor model. I have a fresh installation over here. I'll go to this path, B1 usability package, model configuration, B1 dashboard, dashboard editor. Here you will see all the default dashboards included in SAP Business One. In the case you have BAS manufacturing installed, you will see the brand new dashboards in the latest version, 2019.06. In this case, in this database, I only have B1 Usability Package and their extensions. This is why I don't see the best dashboards models. The first thing you need to do is to verify which users are going to be allowed to view the dashboard. For example, in the sales dashboard, there is information about the gross profit. And maybe this is critical information and you don't want to be displayed in all for all the users of all the company. So you can select the dashboard, make sure that it's active, make sure that it's connected to a database, could be this database or another business one database, and select the users. You just need club double click in this column and you will see the list of users created in a SAP business one. In my case, it's empty because everyone is allowed to view the dashboards. You can set permissions permissions for the users to be included or to be excluded. This means that, for example, in this new dashboard, if I select Jason Butler, 
he will be the only one without permission to view it. And also very important for this webinar, you need to select which dashboard, dashboards are going to be available in the web environment. This is very important to validate. In my case, for example, I have this dashboard named VP Overview. This dashboard is not for a widget. This dashboard is linked to a button in the, in the Business Partner Master Data window. This means that it has a parameter that takes the business partner selected in your screen and then it takes the information to display. In my case, since this parameter is not visible, is not selectable, I can add it into a widget. So it will throw me an error in the case I want to enable to be in the web environment. Once I selected all the dashboards, permissions, and of course, the users that will see the correct information, now we can start installing the web dashboard. It is very simple, only a couple of extra steps. First of all, we need to go to this link, boyomit.com, boyomit.com, slash sbo, slash web dashboard. Here you will find information, a very technical video that explains step-by-step -step how to install them. You can also find the link to download the installer and of course the installation guide. In my case, I already have this link open. You will see the, the link to directly a video that it's uploaded into in our YouTube channel. You will see the change log and the two latest version, in this case, the last one, it is the release that it was uploaded in May. And of course, the installation guide for the web dashboards. In my case, I already download the installer. I just need to unzip it in a folder and then follow the steps that I will find in the installation and in guide. And this is it. Remember that these, these dashboards are also available not only for SQL, also for HANA. And here are the prerequisites. Please remember that you need the driver and you need also the DI API for 32 bits installed in the server where you are going to set up the configuration. Remember to run the installer. In some cases, it is necessary to execute it as an administrator. And once you finish this, which basically is three clicks with no selectable options, a new folder will be created into your server. We can go to this path. In this path, I have it already over here. It is the same name here in the file, in the help file. I have this application, B1 Dashboard Web Configurator. I'm going to execute it as an administrator, and a new window will appear. And basically, this is the main setup that we need to do. We need to introduce the server information. In the case that is SQL, the SQL version. In the case is HANA, of course, as well. And you need to introduce the credentials for your server, for your databases. Once this is done, all the databases will appear when you click the Find Databases button. In my case, I have three databases created in my server. This implementation, this test, and this pre-sales database. I enabled the web dashboards for two of them, for this test database and this pre-sales database. You can also execute this test to make sure that the add-on will connect to the databases to make sure that the DI API is installed correct, correct with no corruption. So I will close this window since I have everything set up and I can go directly to this link. It is also named directly into the configuration, into the help file. I already have my user and my password, and I will log in. The first time, it will take a couple of seconds since the software is connecting and making the login user the DI API. For, in my case, for the two databases that I selected. Now it's connecting, and as soon as it's connected, I will have the information available. Until now, we have set up only the dashboards for the login environment but I'm available to see the information that is here created. I have a refresh button 
I can select and switch between databases. I don't need to log off and log in if the password is the same. And I have all the, uh, the dashboards available that I selected differently in my configuration. I can switch, for example, for the opportunity overview. In my case, this is the service overview. I can switch to the sales overview and load the information. I can log off whenever I don't need to or whenever I finish checking the information. But of course, remember the system is validating the permissions. And in the case I need it, I can switch database. New information will appear. And in the case you have BEAS installed in that database, I will be able to see the BEAS dashboards enabled. Like this one, that is a deep analysis with KPIs of all my resources created. If I go back here to my file, you will see exactly the information that I mentioned and the link, of course, to log in locally to the dashboards. In the case you want to enable these dashboards directly into the internet, you will need a certificate, of course, and to can generate an SSL certificate file. It is very simple. You just need to open the IIS and select the information requested and the port where you're going to log in. Please remember that the information is needed in your firewall. Sometimes firewalls, they don't have the port open and this information, of course, won't be displayed. So these were the steps to enable the web dashboards. These are very simple and very easy to install. I don't know if, if there are any questions. Remember that this is the path, the path to enable to see or to download the web dashboards installer where you can watch the video and of course read the full installation guide. This is all for today. And remember, next week we have another very interesting webinar, how to work with the project model of BEAS manufacturing. Remember to join our webinar series where you will see and where you will find all this information that is included. There is one last question before we cut the webinar. Phil is asking if the refresh is manual. For now, yes, you need to click on the refresh button. We already have in our community the request to refresh the dashboards automatically. Please remember to join our community and vote for this feature. But in the meanwhile, there is a component you can download for Chrome or, or Firefox where it can be refreshed automatically. Thank you for your participation and remember to join the rest of our webinar series. Thank you.